I am Janet Moore. Hello. Probably been seeing all these reminders to make sure you get here okay. I, for those of you that are listening, would you go ahead and I'm doing a sound check and let me know that you can hear me okay. Let's see, I'm gonna go over here to, I think it's an announcement to make sure we're alive and everyone can see me. I think it's going, let's see, that's not that. It's now live, it says, okay. So for those of you that can see me, go ahead and let me know in the comments that you can hear me and see me live. Okay, let's see. I don't know how this works when you can tell. Turn it in the thread. Yes. Okay. Let me just check in. Okay, not like that. Okay, so any of y'all there can let me know that you can see this okay. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get started here in a minute. Here's how it's coming. Oh. Okay, great. So he's you're looking at it and what does it say? Day one life challenge. Oh, I can't see what it says. I just saw that somebody said something. Comment in your live video. Oh, cool. What'd you say? Hello. Okay. Hello. Can Darren, can you hear me okay? You can put in the comments. I don't know why it's not showing me the comments. Usually it'll show me the comments. Maybe because I put it inside of a of a of a guide. Okay, so first things first, uh, let's go ahead and I want to put out the link to the homework and y'all can follow along. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. I'm gonna put it in the comments for the challenge. I'm gonna put your workbook for the challenge. So you have it right there. It's in, so Darren, it's in the uh, comments. Oh shoot, I did not know why it keeps doing hers instead of mine. Very annoying. Why is it doing that? Uh, let's see if I can. I did change the thing. There. Okay. So that's good. So it's now it looks okay. Okay. Hopefully you can get to the the link there, and we're going to be good to go. Okay. So everyone, go ahead and uh, go to the live and the, where the live's happening, and get your workbook. I'm going to do that first. And I'm gonna check on some people. I know some, we had some last minute people wanting to come in and do the challenge. So I'm gonna do that also real quick. There, okay. So let's go back to where I was here. Okay, so let's see any more comments. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna share my screen. Done. And I kinda of wanna walk through the this, this real quick, the, the workbook. So go ahead and get your workbook open. Hopefully you have it, you wanna make a copy. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so you can see what I'm talking about. I think this is the right one. All right, okay, I'm gonna share my screen, share screen. Okay, hopefully this is correct. I like that. Looks kind of weird. Let's go back to this. Share my screen. Okay. Yeah, this is the better one, I think. Okay, let's see how this looks. So, what can you see here? Can y'all see this okay? Let's see. Yeah, I think you can see this. I hope this is the right one. <laughs> Can you see me and it at the same time? Let's see. Hello, welcome. That's not the right one. I'm in the wrong place. Okay. Having some technical technical difficulties here. Uh, let me move this over here so I can see better what's going on. Okay. 
Y'all can't see this that very good, can you? Ah, there it is. That's a little better. Okay, I just wanted to go and I kind of go through this real quick on your on your workbook. So let's see. Where's view? There's a view somewhere. Let's see. Oh, here it is. View. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, that was not right where to go. Look. How about this? Okay, that's a little better. Okay, so you want to get your workbook. I put it in the, I think I might have put it in the wrong place, actually. Yeah, I did. Ah, okay, we're going to put it in the comments of the live. So there you go. That's your workbook. I keep putting my coach's stuff in there. <laughs> Why? Okay, hopefully won't now. So the homework is, I posted it in the live stream, so hopefully you can see it. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Let me know if you can't hear me. But I'm gonna go over the workbook first. So again, welcome to the five days to an online dating profile challenge. So I'm gonna go over the workbook. First, just inter, you know, introducing myself uh, here. And this is the schedule. So this is something we will definitely wanna kind of walk through a little bit, but this is in, it's, Everything for this program is actually in this workbook that you need. So telling you what we're going to be covering every day, all, all the different things. I'll be going with my presentation as well. But we're basically, we're going to be doing 8 o'clock every day, every day. Here is your first day homework. And we're going to be covering it. So you might want to keep this open. Again, you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to make a copy first. Go here and make a copy of the entire presentation. Name it to whatever you want to name it. And it will be your copy that you can then insert whatever you want. You're welcome to print it, or you can just go in here and start typing the answers. Okay. And there's a fly in here. <laughs> okay. I don't know how he got captured in my room, but he did somehow. Okay. So go ahead and make a copy again over here. Copy, make a copy. Okay. Our presentation, name it to whatever you want, and then you can get going. So again, every day. Oh my gosh, this is going crazy. You see him? <laughs> Every day you're going to be uh, opening this up and then you're going to be kind of probably it's best to kind of follow through with what I'm saying on the presentation and looking at this at the same time. Again, if you want to print it out, great. If you want to just type in it, that's fine as well. I don't want to do this fly. Okay, so that is the workbook. So again, I put the link in the in the live stream post. Hopefully you see it right there. Let me know if you don't. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I think we got some people here, so let's go ahead and I can hear you. Oh, yay. Yeah, I don't know how to make it bigger. Is it this better now, right? Lynette, I think it's better. I think I had it too small a while ago. Oh, remove. I see two. You said not see the homework? See the homework right here, day one homework. You see it here, Lynette? Let's see, I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to show me. Who cannot see the homework? Oh, it's better. Okay, great. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the presentation. So let's go ahead and I'm going to start the presentation. It's going to be flipped, so just bear with me for a second. I'm going to change it. Swap. Okay. Hopefully you can see this now. Yes. Okay. It looks like it's all there. Okay. I am going to turn this on here. Great. You found it. Oh, still can't find the words, but okay, you found it. Great. Thank you, Lynette. So go ahead, and like I said, and open up the workbook and go ahead and um make a copy and then you can follow along for the first day. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's see. There you go. Welcome. I just want to say thank you to everyone that's here. Like really, thank you so much. I'm excited to help you get you going Oops. on your online dating profile. Upgrading your online dating profile to make it magnetic to, the, to your like-hearted match, right? So 
who am I? I'm Janet Moore. I'm a spiritual confidence and connection coach. I still want to add that because I think this is what I love to do, help people with their confidence. Spiritually, personally, how you want to put it, right? And I was really specialized in helping single spiritual single men and women to wake up to who they truly are. First, you got to be happy and get who you are to be able to. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hmm. okay. I thought I got rid of all those. Okay. Anyways, um, wake up to who you truly are and then be able to attract and date your like-hearted match. Okay. It's the person who is really the kind of person that you kind of makes your heart go, wow. Right. Petter patter. Right. <laughs> so a little bit about me. And I know dating and it's talking about me knowing dating. And I thought I got rid of that. Okay, let me go to that one. Oh, I didn't get rid of it. There, okay. I guess I missed that one. Okay, great. So I know dating. I produce monthly singles and annual singles events, both by myself and when I was in the, in the, the leader at the Church for Singles at Unity. I've taught dozens of live experiential workshops on confidence connecting, my call my flirting class, my mojo, ignite your mojo class, or your, <laughs> instant magnetism, things like that. I've trained hundreds of singles for over the last 10 years or more, plus plus actually. I created an iPhone dating app. It was out on the iPhone before there was even Android. That's how it was. And I produced and starred in a YouTube show called The Dating Divas, <laughs> a show for singles on dating and relating. I produced that show, it was super fun. And then I've been trained as an image consultant from both London Image Institute in Atlanta and Ashley Rothschild in LA. And I'm also a partner in the new online dating community called the Honest Date Bar. So those are the things about dating, just to kind of give you a background on who, and um, I used to be called the Geek Whisperer. I didn't delete that one either. <laughs> um, I used to be called the Geek Whisperer, now I'm the Waking Dating Coach. So just to let you know, like I've had lots of experience. I'm not somebody new that just came on and just decided to, to help people. I've been doing this for a long time, really 15 plus years. So I just want you to know that you're in good hands when it comes to dating. Uh, also, a cool thing is I'm very spiritual as well. And there's a lot of things I've done, you know, NLP, hypnosis, you know, timeline master practitioner, EFT, quantum sound healing pr practitioner. Uh, I've taken training courses in pranic healing, theta healing, emotional code, Motion codes, actually, not emotional codes. <laughs> Activated, initi initiated into the Mystery School of North America. I love everything Harry Potter. And that's a that's the real thing now, the real deal there uh, with the Mystery School. Um, a oneness blessing, or they also call it Diksha Giver. If you know what those, that means, you spirit the types. And it's based in India. Uh, participated in most of Landmark Worldwide courses on all their programs. Uh, the Conscious Transformation, Global Relationship Centers. Courses I love and learning and learning to just not only expand myself but to also be able to apply and teach it to to, to y'all as well. Okay. I love it. I love learning. I've attended Heart Math, multiple Unity trainings, um, some of their you know coursework to become a minister. I've done a lot of those courses as well. I've attended Joe Dispenza. Luckily, Unity is just such a such a great place. Unity Church of the Hills here in Austin, Texas. They've had so many wonderful people. That's where I've got a lot of my training is through all the people that have come through. And one of them was Joe Dispenza before he became super duper popular. My daughter, he had, he had, a, had a course for children, which was awesome. My daughter got to take it. So um, Awaken Life Live, I, I was also the singles group leader for two years or just a singles leader at Unity for two years. And then a little bit later, I became with the single spirit group leader, which is a little different. I don't know what this thing's doing. Uh, for two years at Unity. So it was like a book study. I led book studies on really great spiritual books that I can highly recommend which ones you should take. And I've done a lot more stuff, but I didn't want to list it all. But my point is, I want you to know, I've also been doing spiritual stuff for over 10 years or more as well. And really personal growth for 20 years or more. So just to kind of give you a sense of who I am and who, who, who you're going to be trained by today, okay? Okay, so anyways, enough about me, but I just wanted to give a background so you know kind of where, where I'm coming coming from in my training with you, okay? Next is, yes, Alan, you do, you fill it out as we go along. So you'll be listening to this training, and as you go through the training, you'll be actually maybe, I'll ask you to go ahead and start filling it out, 
And then part of your assignment is to make sure you complete the work. So yes, Alan, the, the workbook, you're gonna be go ahead and cop, making a copy and you're gonna be kind of following through as you're going through this training. You can start filling it out as we're talking. And then you're, you're, then you're gonna be filling it out completely and then posting it to the group. But we'll be going through that in a minute here. So again, the challenge go, goals is to show you, you know, throughout this challenge, I'll show you how to uncover your uniqueness to highlight your inner mojo, okay? So that's the bust, that's what we're doing today is what is your uncovering your mojo vibe? What is your mojo? Are we talking about that in just a minute? Discovering the qualities that you want and your like-hearted match to have. Oh my goodness. I think I deleted these. I swear I went through these. <laughs> I think I can't see it. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, let me delete that one. There. Okay. Okay, so we're going to discover the kind of qualities you want your like-hearted match. Because first, got to figure out who you are, what makes you pick, what's your vibe. Then you want to think about the kind of person you want to date, right? Who do you want to wake up to, right? <laughs> then you're going to create a plan to upgrade your profile with captivating text and photos. So the groundwork are these two days, today and tomorrow. Kind of uncover who you are so you can know what Kind of pictures you're going to have, what you're going to say in your online dating profile, then also the kind of person you want, because those two things are going to be going in to your online dating profile. You'll be creating like a plan to update those. Next is you're going to be upgrading your commitment and mindset for attracting love. So that's the next two days of so commitment on Thursday and then mindset for attracting love. And I'm going to give you some fun little tips, especially on mindset day, uh, that you can do that is kind of cool. Maybe, you know, um, shortcut your path to dating people you shouldn't be dating. People that aren't in alignment with you, right? I'll tell you how to do that in a, in a little bit here. Well, on day five. And then, of course, the last thing, the whole thing about this is to build a profile that will connect you with your like-hearted match, okay? So that's what this is all about, okay? So let's go ahead and go in the next. Okay, let's talk about, so that's the goals. Now we're going to talk about challenge logistics, okay? Anybody, any comments? Okay. Again, it's going to start to start today. It goes through through Friday. We have training sessions. Every lesson will be delivered via this live stream into the challenge Facebook group. And then you will um, email or text will be sent to the link to post the to, for the lesson post. OK, so I will be informing you and reminding you. Don't forget about the training at eight o'clock. OK, again, eight o'clock every day. We're going to have you again post your assignments in the challenge group so I can review and give you feedback. So again, you'll be looking at the first day, every day you'll be looking at your worksheet. I'll be giving you the training and then you're going to basically be posting. You're gonna, at the end, you're gonna finish it all up. You're gonna either take a picture, take a snapshot, however you wanna do it, and you'll post it into the challenge group and I'll be looking it over and giving you feedback. Now, if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to ask questions. And this post is probably the best place to do it. Um, keep it all together, it would be nice. But hey, if you just need to ask a question, just post it and I'll make sure I will be looking through everything that comes through in this, in this challenge group, okay? Okay. By the way, any questions on that, on the logistics? If you do, I'll, I'll check and see in a minute here. Okay, here's the challenge topics. We It's it's in your workbook. I didn't want to kind of go over there. I thought I'd go over here. It looks a little prettier here. We're going to, today, covering your mojo vibe, identifying your like-hearted match, where you kind of talked about this earlier creating a captivating upgrade plan, committing to your love life, unstoppable dating mindset hacks. And then actually I'm gonna give you four bonus sessions. So let's talk about that. The bonus sessions are gonna be Thursday through Tuesday, so four days, same time, same bad time. <laughs> For those of you that are probably asleep right now in the UK or in Europe, they're listening to this as this recording, there's the bon some of these bonus sessions. I would be happy. And you just let me know which ones would you like me to do for you at two o'clock CST time? Because you know, this is this is a um, weekend for me, so I can do it during the during the day for you. And I'm happy to do on Monday as well live Q and A. Okay, so let me know for those of you listening to the recording that are in the UK or in Europe. Would you like me to be able to do this? Just put in the comment hashtag. UK or something like that. That way I know you want these in your time zone. Okay. 
So the first day is going to be behind the scenes of my Magnetize Your Match three-month coaching program. So I will be offering a coaching program if you would like uh, to join me and I can help you for the next three months to be start dating, accelerate your dating to be able to find your like-hearted match. Then I will be telling you all the details about that. Um, anything you want to know behind the scenes of how the program works, okay? Then Sunday is very exciting. Those of you that really are very dedicated and really going at it with your homework, that means you're either asking questions, even if you're not doing it live, if you're asking questions in the live stream, like you're watching the live stream and you're typing questions, even if it wasn't live, you're just listening to it, the recording afterwards, or you're posting questions and you're posting your homework and you're asking for help and feedback. Those of you, I'm going to pick two or three, depending how many that are really dedicated. I'm going to pick, but whoops, I put you in a drawing to pick those people because there's a bunch of y'all, be two or three of you that will receive a free online dating profile review via Zoom. So we're actually, instead of being on a live stream, we'll be in a Zoom room. Every, any, all of us can join, but we'll be going through your online dating profile to see what you did to update it. So you'll get, you'll get some time, like it's why I'm doing it on Sunday, to give you time to upgrade, to kind of put all of what we're doing on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to make sure you put it into your, your profile, okay? And then I'll review it for you and give me any last minute feedback or, or tweaks. So that's pretty exciting. So make sure you do your homework and post it, okay? Then on Monday is this live Q&A. So some of you maybe didn't get around to doing it, doing some of the homework or whatever. I'm going to be available live again at 2 o'clock also for the UK people if that's what they want. I'll be a live, I'll be a, I will be live am ready to answer your questions of anything about this pro, about not only the challenge, but also my program. Then Tuesday, it's very exciting. We're going to be doing an upgrade your attractor factor. We're going to be doing kind of more of your image and style. So also, I'm going to I'm going to add this really cool um, timeline therapy kind of thing where we're going to go into your future. We're going to we're going to insert something into your future. So to upgrade your attractor factor, okay? So that'll be really fun. So definitely come to all of these, right? And stay stay through your um, through Tuesday. Now, one thing I want you to know is all the content, this is only going to be good through, I'm going to have it go all the way through Wednesday of next week, the 19th. So you're welcome to listen to all this as much as you like. Get feedback in the group from me. I'm here for you. Please use me up. Ask me questions, okay? And on Wednesday, the 19th at midnight or 11.59, whatever, <laughs> uh, it, everything will be shut down. So. This is only for a limited time, the challenge, okay? So I just want y'all to know about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and move next. So let's go ahead and get into the content. Y'all ready? So hopefully you have your workbook open to the first day. We're gonna be working on uncovering your mojo vibe. So, oh my goodness, I thought, I swear, I guess these white ones, I didn't notice that they had the, oh, okay, here we go. In today's session, I'm going to show you how to uncover your mojo vibe. It's the heart of who you want to be. It is what you want others to know about you and what makes you memorable. And through this simple and neat process. So I actually, I personally created some, I call it your mojo vibe. I created this. <laughs> I should probably put a trademark on there somewhere. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. This is actually a fundamental thing that I do with all my clients, no matter what I'm doing with you. We have to create your mojo vibe first because I have to know what it is you, who you want to be, who you want to project, what you want to project. You know, when I do clothes, when I shop for men or women for, for clothing, when I take them shopping for image and stuff, I have them do their mojo vibe. It's not up to me on what they think. I think they should look like. Now, we work together on, on creating your mojo vibe. And that's what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be helping you create your mojo vibe. But even just clothing, I need to know what vibe do you want to send out? What, who are you? What, do you, what makes you unique, right? So the first thing we're, we're going to do is what are you vibing? Whether you believe it or know it or not, you're vibing something. Is it really what you want to vibe? Is it what you want really people to know about you? So we're talking about that first. Then we're going to look at what makes you unique. What makes you unique? This is a kind of, don't worry, I'll walk you through it. What makes you unique? You're going to be kind of looking at that. 
as part of what you see in the, in, the, in the homework and assignment. You'll be filling that out. And then we're going to have you select your Mojo Bob. And I'll be helping you with the criteria on how that goes. Okay. Then we'll have a review, questions about your assignment. Okay. That's how it's going to go. So let's go and get started. What are you vibing? So what I want you to do right now is I want you to look at your profile. Go to one of your, your online dating profiles. And I want you to look at look it up. Look at it. Open it up. Let's do this right now. Because I am all about action. I'm an action taker person. I want people to take action. It's really fun and cool, like, to think, oh, yeah, that's kind of a cool idea. But to me, it's – sorry, I'm getting a little hot. Okay, there. Um, is to really look at – really be an action on, on your life. Not just thinking, oh, that's a cool idea. Oh, that's a neat, that's a neat concept. I really want you – moving in action. So I want you to right now go look, open up your day, online dating profile. If you don't have one, no problem. We're going to be helping you create one. But if you do have one, go ahead and look at it. I want you to look at your profile and read your profile text. What do you think you're vibing when you, when you look at that? And what would others say about you? What would they say? Would you date you? <laughs> like, really, would you date you? Think about that. So I want you to think about that, right? Would you date you? And the next I want you to think about, are you truly projecting what you want others to know about you? Are you truly projecting what you want others to know about you? So when you're looking at your vibe, what are you vibing? You're vibing something. What would you want others to, 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 know, to want you to know about you? What do others say about you? Like if your friends looked at that, what would they say about you? Or what do you think other women would say about you if you're a guy? If you're women, what, what do you think guys would say about you if they looked at your online dating profile? A lot of people don't spend a lot of time. They just get it up. They just get it. Sounds bad. <laughs> they just get their profile online really quickly. They look at some pictures. They stick them in there. They write a little this, a little, little bit of that, depending on which kind of profile you're, or app you're on or website you're on. If you're on like Match.com or I think Plainfish or some of these others, they have longer profiles. Some of you may not really write much. Some of them you have Bumble or Tinder, so it's really short, and that's kind of cool, I guess, for some of you, right? But do you really take the time to think about what you're saying about yourself? But just kind of notice the vibe that you're sending out, because you are there's a vibe. And are you really projecting what you want others to know about you? Are you? Maybe you are great. Well, let's keep going because this will help you with this. So what is your mojo vibe? Because like I've been saying, I'm covering your mojo vibe. Well, Janet, what is your mojo vibe? What is it? Okay, again, I, get, I came up with this, by the way. So let's talk about what mojo is. Mojo is your uncanny personal power or influence. Like an Austin Powers. It's like, but it's like, it's not your sex. It's like your personal power influence. It's, it's like you, you are actually vibing out there some kind of influence, personal something, <laughs> personal influence of some kind. What is it? Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought I deleted those. Okay. What is a vibe? A general emotional feeling one has from another person, place, or situation. So it's an emotional feeling one has. So like I said, when you looked at your personal profile, what kind of emotional feeling did you have about yourself? If, if you were a third person looking at your profile, what would you feel? What was that emotional feeling you would get out of looking at that profile? So what is your mojo vibe? What is that influence? What are you, what kind of influence are you getting, giving off with that, but with, the, with your vibe? Giving off some kind of emotional feeling. Is it one of power and influence or is it one of kind of ooh, <laughs> scary or something, right? So you want to look at that. Okay. So this is your mojo vibe. Your mojo vibe is describes who you are and what you want to project to the world about yourself. So what it's what you want others to know about you and what makes you unique and different from everyone else, especially the type of person that you want to date. Okay, it's a set of distinguishing features and characteristics that make you stand out in a crowd and make you memorable. So what, do you, what is it that you want to project out? 
Now you're protecting something always, every, always, always. So who are you that you want to project? So now we get to create. So before you kind of were just maybe vibing and you just really think about what you're vibing. Now you're going to like consciously think about what do I want to vibe out to the world? That is unique and different maybe from someone else or and, and that would be somewhat of an influencer, you know, get the mojo going with the person that you really want to date. That would be the like-hearted, like-minded, like-hearted person that you want to date. Kind of like, you know, I always say, I want to date someone like me. I like me. I want to date someone like me. Am I vibing out that person, right? That's what you want to look at. So what do you want others to know about you? And what I mean by others is really the person that you want to date. It's a set of distinguishing features and characteristics. Again, it makes you stand out in the crowd and makes you memorable. So one of the things we're going to be doing, not today, but I think day three, we're going to be working on your Mojo Vibe story. So this is very important that you do this Mojo Vibe because it, it builds on everything. Okay. So if you look, I think it's number one in your, in your, in your exercise. Let's see. Oh, I have all these things up. <laughs> Let's look it up. Um, what I want you to do is I want to look, look at your workbook and it lists, I think it's number one, it says, what are your talents, strengths, passions, and achievements? So this is I'm going to be uncovering your module. So now we're going to do the exercise, the, the workbook exercises. So go ahead. I'm trying to find. Um, let's see. I, I should have put it up over here. I didn't put it up over there. I thought it was going to be when I switched it, went out of the wrong place. So sorry about that. So go ahead and open up your doc. And let's see. Oh, here it is. Okay. And let's go to the very first one. Okay. So I want you to look at that. And I want you to think about it. I want you to actually do this right now. What are your strengths, your talents, your passions, and achievements? So I want you to actually write that out right now. There's no time like now. There's really only now, actually. <laughs> so let's do it now. Go ahead and do that now while I'm trying to find the, the document. So go ahead and write that out, okay? I'm gonna pause for a second here. I'm trying to find um, the document. I had it on the other slide and now it's all, the presentation is all over there. Okay, slides, okay. So go ahead, what are your strengths and talents? Think about it. Maybe you play an instrument. Maybe you're a great singer, maybe you're a great dancer. Maybe you're great at chess, I don't know, whatever it is. Write that down. Maybe you're really good at programming. Go ahead and do that now. Now it says in here your top three, three to five talents, strengths, passion, achievements. So just write a bunch of stuff down. Don't worry about the top three to five. This is kind of a brainstorming tool, right? So just go ahead and write all of them down. Okay, your strengths, strengths and talents are all kind of similar. It's just a different way to look at how can I remember and think about what it is. You know, like when you say talents, you might not think you're talented, but then you'd say, oh, I'm really strong at this. Well, it's kind of similar to your talent, right? But what you're passionate about, maybe you're passionate about gardening, maybe you're passionate about sailing. Yeah, see, so, so Dan said, seems like a lot of people create what they think others will like, which gives them short-term life, but comes up short in the true search. Yes. You want to be you. You don't want to be try to be somebody, somebody, somebody else's version of you, right? You want to be truly you. It's kind of hard to be not you. I can't even imagine being not me personally. And I think it would be really hard to be not you and be try to be someone else's version of you. So thank you for commenting that. 
Yeah, so this is about you. What we're uncovering your mojo vibe. Okay, so what are your talents, your strengths, your passions? What are you passionate about? What have are some of your achievements? So go ahead and write those down. And next, I want you to go ahead and what are your top physical traits? Physical traits. Your bright blue eyes, your That amazing smile, cheeky, pretty smile, gray hair, great, not gray hair, <laughs> great hair, <laughs> you're tall, you're fit, you're fun, I mean, that's not physical, but you know what I'm saying, nice, that's too, ooh, there, maybe not, okay. What are your top physical traits? Go ahead and write them down. Again, this is a working session. Let's do it now. Why not, why, why not do it now, right? Let's do this now. Okay, and the last one is what do people say about you? What do your friends say about you? Maybe what were you called in the, you know, when I was in, uh, when I was, I used to play softball from fifth grade to, to 12th grade, and I, they used to call me Stretch. That was my nickname, Stretch. <laughs> I mean, I'm just coming up with stuff. People used to call me Stretch because I loved I mean, I was super, I would put on long and tall and all that and wasn't afraid of the ball. And I would just go out there and stretch. And I would sometimes, because I stretched, I'd win out on the people on the base. People say, I'm vivacious. I actually did the Mojo Vibe exercise. So while y'all are doing this, I want y'all to go ahead and fill this out, okay? I want y'all to fill this out. Um, I did this exercise. I used to have a singles rendezvous event. It was basically networking for singles. It was a really cool concept. And I would do a little kind of like I did, I did this. And, and I did the exercise of your mojo vibe during one of our lunches. It was basically a lunch. You come for an hour. I give you a little lesson. And then you swap whoever's there. You might not, maybe you don't see about somebody you want to date, but you might have a friend because you go in and introduce everybody. And they, they swap, oh, I know a friend for you, kind of like networking for business, but it's networking for love. It was really cool years ago. Anyways, when I was doing this exercise, because I have people pair up usually to do this, I would, one woman was a person out, so I was her partner. So I worked with her to get hers. And she goes, oh, I want to do yours. I'm like, oh, it's okay. She goes, no, I wanted to. So she came up with the word vivacious. And I'm like, oh my God, I would have never thought that word. In fact, that will be part of your assignment. That's not, I know it's not written in in the workbook, but I'm going to say it's extra credit. Okay. I'll talk about that at the end. I'm going to have you do. Okay. So again, you're going to use your Mojo Vibe worksheet. You're going to fill in a question for yourself, trombone player, and maybe you're an inventor. What do others say about you? Maybe you're helpful. You're a really great cook. You can cook a mean steak, you know. You're a genius, super smart. Count him to figure it out. Now, one thing I want to talk about is thinking about words for choices. And that'll be more, more like when we go to selecting your mojo vibe. But still, think about this. Kind of be specific. Try not to be too general. So instead of using smart, maybe use intellectual or well-read. Well educated, street smart, or expert in robotics. So just instead of smart, put something maybe more specific. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And then, like I said, go ahead and fill that in. And then once you've filled in all that, so let me look at the back here. The first three, you're gonna, one through three, you're gonna go and fill those in. It's kind of brainstorm, it's a brainstorming tool. Then what I want you to do is I want you to circle the words, 10 words. Now the reason I did this is because people couldn't get down to three or four. They were like, oh, my God, this is too hard. So what I want you to do is I want you to circle about 10 words. It could be 15. I don't care. It could be 11. Um, but circle 10 words that you feel really good about, like that. Like when you see that word, it makes you light up, makes you feel happy and joyous, like about yourself. OK. So circle those words. So circle 10 of them. It could be in any of those one through three. OK. Any of those. Doesn't matter which one. Circle those words. And you're going to narrow them down to three or four in a minute, okay? But go ahead and circle 10, and then you're going to share your mojo vibe. Oh, I have to keep this person there. So. 
So here are some, some help with selecting your Mojo Vibe. Okay, so while y'all are still doing that, here's some criteria to help you choose. Does it ring true to who you are, both as you see yourself and as others see you? Does it appeal to the kind of partner you would like to attract? Is it positive? Is it memorable? And is it unique? Does it position you for the kind of relationship that you want to have? So when I say the number one, does it ring true to who you? Now, what I mean by true it doesn't mean you are that, but it rings true to like, this is who I want to be. And this is, maybe others don't see me this way, so I want to, maybe I should take that out, but, but it's something that you really want to be in the world. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you testimonial here in a minute about some, or some uh, results that happened from my, my, with some of my clients here in a minute. Okay, so that, that's some of the selection credit. Then eventually you're going to get to those three words. You can put in those three lines at the bottom, okay? So you just go to your workbook again. You'll see at the bottom, you're going to select three, three to four words or phrases. But here's kind of some fun stuff. Oops. Here's some Mojo Vibe examples, and you are you can totally, totally steal any of these. Totally. So as for example, like back in the day when she was in her heyday, Madonna, the singer that is, <laughs> uh, hers would, could have been, her Mojo Vibe could have been outrageous sexual pop singer. Mother Teresa could have maybe be noble selfless charity. A nurse could be intellectual Catholic. A nurse, I don't know if she's Catholic, but whatever. A graphic designer, creative redhead graphic designer. A horseman could be deep blue-eyed. Oops, it should be deep blue-eyed Colorado horse breeder. Maybe it's where you live. Maybe it's what you do. It's up to you. A runner, a mere sassy, a spontaneous sassy runner. A doctor, adventurous Brazilian doctor, interior decorator, cute, passionate interior decorator. You could just be a bright green eyed, compassionate adventurer or thrill seeker. <laughs> Cheerful, fun country girl, sexy, compassionate daredevil, authentic, easygoing handyman. And here's mine. Well, I guess I need to change it, but vivacious, vivacious action pack. I'll just say coach and dating coach probably. That's mine for me there so those are some examples again i'll put it up here for a little while just a little bit longer here so you can if you like some of these words you go oh yes i'm a daredevil oh yes i'm an adventurer i'm you know, passionate and again probably should have put passion about something passion about what that's what you want to probably get that word again i'm going to be helping you so don't worry just pick something i will help you okay in fact if some of y'all want to go ahead and share what you came up with in the, in the comments, I can help you. Oh, yeah, I don't know why that is blurry. I see what you're saying. I'm looking at, at them. Maybe I should make them bigger. I don't know. You can read them fine? Okay. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. Okay, so, so go ahead and, again, you're going to kind, caring, servant leader. Whoops. Kind and caring are sort of similar. So, Dan, thank you for posting that. Uh, I would say kind and caring are similar. You might, I mean, I kind of know you, so I don't know. You're kind of adventurous and daredevil, thirst leaker. I don't know. I think you might want to consider kind and caring could be kind of the same. You want to be a badass chef, world traveler, and well, shit, yeah. <laughs> well, then you should put that. That's what I, the other one just didn't seem like you, to be honest. Maybe at work you're like that, but I think badass chef, world Traveler and motorcycles is awesome, personally, because I know you. Uh, hired, independent, hired, hired. What is hired? What do you mean by hired? Like you have a job? I don't know what you mean by that. Independent understanding, okay? I don't know what you mean by hired. Um, I like independent understanding. That's fine. Let's, let's work on hired. 
And let me know what you mean by higher because I don't know what that means. Anyone else want to add theirs? Okay, let's move on. So I want to talk about some clients' results. This is kind of fun. Um, so Kate, you might have heard me talk about her before. She was an empty nester when I met her. We created her Mojo Vibe uh, to do this exercise. Again, I do it with every single person. Every single person I've ever coached has done the Mojo Vibe. <laughs> no matter if you're in my workshop, my programs, I'm doing clothing you, whatever it is, you're doing the Mojo Vibe, okay? So we did the Mojo Vibe and we came up with one of her words is, as, a, as a sailor. Now, I didn't know this about her. You know, She was an a Pilates instructor, right? And she was really getting her business going. It was all about her Pilates business. I'm not saying she doesn't do it anymore, but that's just not really what's going on in her life big time right now. And she was really wanting to grow it and all this stuff, right? We did the Mojo Vibe exercise, and she remembered that before she had her children, she loved to sail. And so she put down sailor as one of her words. So, again... Now, we're talking about online dating right now, but I will eventually have either a master class or a challenge on offline dating because that's where I'm like a lot of stuff I've done on my workshops is all about offline dating, meeting in person, flirting, talking, communicating, you know, conversations, all that kind of stuff. But anyways, so I said, okay, we well, want to meet, you want to meet a sailor? And she goes, well, first she had to figure out who she was and what was really important to her, like her must haves, right? And for her, her must-have was she really wanted to date someone that loved to sail, too. She just didn't want to also sail here and there and kind of as a hobby. She wanted to do it with her guy, with her man. So once she got really clear on those two things, right, those two things, she was able to then attract what she wanted. Without it, she was just kind of fumbling around and kind of whoever would show up, blah, blah, blah. And no wonder she wasn't successful. And dating, right? So she, what did she do? She, I told her, go hang out at yacht clubs. That's for or sell, you know, sailboat places, whatever. That's what she started doing. She started dating some some sailor guys, have boats. Now she is a now she's married to a sailor, and I'm not kidding you. They they actually live on the sailboat. <laughs> I can't believe this happened. And she is sailing around the Carib 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 Caribbean. Caribbean, talk. She also goes up the you know the coast. East Coast and stuff, but I'm just saying they have. I think they have dreams of sailing around the world. And they might have already done that. I can't. Remember. She's, she's a friend on my Facebook. I don't keep up with those as often as, or as much as I should, maybe. But I, I see her posts. I'm like, wow, she's over here, and then she's over there, and just having this boat, super cool boat life. It's so cool. I'm not sure if I would want to do it, but I'm just saying it's cool that she's doing that. Who would have thought, right, that she would have been <laughs> living on a sailboat, right? Again, this is the power of the mojo vibe and knowing who you want to date. Okay, next is David. David, kind of related and not exactly. Um, this is more related to his business, but I still want to, I want to just talk about this. He was my business lawyer. I met him at a, at a networking event and um, <laughs> uh, and then I'll get you to use in a minute. David, was my lawyer. I met him at a networking event and he, his business wasn't going well. He didn't really look the part. So he wasn't in alignment, right? He was just not in alignment. So this is about alignment, being in alignment with who you truly are. He wasn't in alignment. People didn't trust him and stuff. So I went, I actually did a shopping thing for him. I took, I went into his closet, went through his whole wardrobe. He had these wonderful, probably that suit right there, but it had had um, gold buttons on it. He's not a bold, gold button kind of guy. And that's what maybe some lawyers are like, but not, not this guy, not this lawyer. <laughs> so I so said, don't throw those out. Just put them brown buttons. So that's what he did. We got him. Now he's actually in this particular picture, all dressed up like a lawyer, but he didn't really want to, like maybe when he goes into court, he, he looks like that. But around people in general, he just wanted to be who he was. And again, you can see, I actually... Again, we did his mojo vibe first. It's not on what I wanted and what I th think a lawyer should look like. It's what he wanted to look like as a lawyer. And he insisted on blue jeans and T-shirts. But we found some nice button-down shirts. 
his blue jeans and nice shoes and, and his jacket. And he ended up not only becoming, he, so he was working for a firm. He started his own firm because he became, became so successful. But here's one thing I want you to know about him. In his mojo vibe, because I worked with him on this, he's super funny, like super duper funny. And I said, you should be a comedian because you're so funny. And he's like, well, you know, I am funny, but I don't know about that. I go, yeah, that's, that's, so we put it in his mojo vibe. And I kept bugging him. I said, you should go like, go to comedy clubs and do stand-up comedy. Well, eventually he, he started doing improv. He started doing improv and then eventually got into acting. And now he is not my lawyer anymore, sadly. It's been many years now. He hasn't been a lawyer. He started following his true path of being an actor, a comedian, and a writer. Because he, um, he's a lawyer. Usually lawyers are pretty good writers, right? So that's what he does now. And he, like, he's got, he's married. He's happily been married for many, many years. Because he started being in alignment with who he truly was. I think they might have. I'm not positive where they met. They might have met an improv. I don't know. But that's what I'm saying is when you get this mojo vibe down, you really get who you are and what kind of vibe you want to send out, who you want to be. And things start sh- moving and shaking in your world. I, mean, I have so many stories. A couple of others real quick. One guy, compl- out of doing this, he realized he wanted to be an entertainer at his house. A house entertainer, I don't know what that means. But he wanted to be a host at his house. He remodeled his whole kitchen out of this exercise. It's pretty funny. Another guy realized he was adventurous or something. And he was driving a four-door sedan. He realized he needed to. So he went out and bought an SUV. So these are the kinds of things that happen when you do your mojo vibe. So don't be surprised if you might, <laughs> you might completely change careers <laughs> like these two kind of people did. Or, you know, you'll never know what will happen. OK, it's pretty fun. But it's really about being true to who you are. OK, that's what this mojo vibe is all about. So. Uh, so pretty much at the end, creating your mojo vibe again is the fundamental is fundamental to this upgrade process to upgrading your online profile. So I'm gonna make sure you do it, okay? So let's work with some more people on your mojo vibe. So Lynette, you said, the title of my current profile is let's go hiking and talk about aliens. That's very cute. Very cute. So what is your mojo vibe, Lynette? What do you think yours is? Go ahead and post it. Oops. Go ahead and post it in. I guess the timer. I don't know why it's moving on its own. Anybody else? Oh, hired for a position at work. Oh, okay, yes, Alan, thank you. Okay, well, Lynette, uh, you have some words. Okay, fine, no problem. And I'm gonna give you some extra bonus home assignment right now in just a minute. Okay, let's go back to uh, Alan just real quick. Hired for a position at work. Okay, so that's great that you're hired. What are you doing at work? So what is, what is that thing? Is that something you want to project out to others? This kind of type of work you do, or is it something different? Maybe it's a cool hobby that you have, or maybe something you forgot, kind of like that Kate she forgot about. Oh, I used to love before my kids. I used to love to do this. Maybe something from your childhood. Your parents wouldn't let you do, but you really wanted to do it. I don't know. I'm just saying, think about that. You're gonna really take some time to think about this, okay? So let's see. I'm still working on. Okay, great. So, Alan, that's something to, to look at is uh, what you're hired to do at work or maybe something you forgot that you love to do. OK, so the bonus for you is to call up your friends. OK, to call up your friends and say, hey, what are my talents? What are my strengths? What do you consider my talents and strengths? I'm doing this. I'm trying to I'm kind of upgrade my online dating profile. I need some help. Just say it like that. You don't have to tell me taking this class. I don't care. If you want to, great. But I'm just saying, if you don't want to tell them you're taking a class, just say, hey, I need some help with my online dating profile. You talk slower. I know I talk really fast. I need some help with my online dating profile. What do you think my, my talents, my strengths are? What do you think I'm passionate about? 
what, what are your achievements? And maybe some friends, some old friends too. Maybe some new friends, a little bit of maybe some friends, an old friend, a new friend, and a family member or something. Try to pick around three people. Yeah, even one's good, but get three people would be better. Ask them what they think your top physical traits are. And then maybe say, what do you say about me? Now, what's really cool, when people do this exercise, they get some really great words, like that woman. I would have never thought of vivacious, but I am actually. <laughs> I'm always jumping around, blah. And um, I would never thought of that word for myself, never. Other people, when they do this exercise as well, they get really connected to their friends in a way they never got connected to them before. So consider doing this as a bonus exercise. Reaching out to your friends, it's, it's like, I don't know where, where you where you live right now, what time zone you're in, but after this is over, because I'm going to be ending it here in just a few minutes, by the way. If you have time, maybe call them up tonight. If not, do it during the day. You have, even if you work till five or six, you can have a couple more hours to call them up and get some more words in there. Okay? So just go ahead and, and do that. Call up maybe an old friend, a new friend. I don't care. Just Three people. I don't care who they are. <laughs> I was just suggesting that as a possibility. Somebody who knows you from the past because they because maybe you forgot about something you used to love to do with somebody from your past or, or maybe a family member remembers things. Remember you used to love to do that? I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot I love that. Oh, my God, I really do love that. Sometimes we just forget. We, you know, we get old, we get busy. We forget things. So go ahead and do that. Three people. That's your bonus. And then add to your list. Okay, and then what I want you to do is I want you to circle 10 and then come up with a three. Now, if you're having a hard time, no worries. Post what you have. Like fill in the first three, take a snapshot, screenshot, however you want to do it. Post it in the group and I will help you. Okay, again, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you with this. I'm serious. So go ahead and do that. Okay, let's look over here. I think a good word for all would be successful. Yeah, but successful in what? So again, I want, I want you to be specific. Successful is very vague. Like even adventures, adventures in what? Uh, I know, badass chef, no, that's really good. World travel and motorcycles, yeah, that's pretty specific, okay? So yeah, those are good. So. So, Alan, I would, I would, um, you, you can use success, but successful what? Successful, ooh, ooh, that good. Successful in what? Or what is that job? Maybe post that again. If you don't know, let me see your list. One through three. You know, go ahead and fill it out. Take a snapshot. Put it, put it in there, and I'll. And again, no matter what, even if you already have your Mojo Vibe now. I want you to go ahead and part of like getting to be one of the people if you want to be one of those people on Sunday is to take a picture of your homework or snapshot or how you do it, post it or copy paste. I don't care how you do it. Post it in, in the group. Take a look at it and I'll, and I'll give you some feedback. Okay. Even so. Okay. Even though you picked some, that makes me know that you're really doing the work. Okay. And I can see that some of you are, but so. But okay, so let's look at Lynette's. Lynette's was adventurous, love, travel, loving, easygoing, entrepreneur. Fun loving, yes. So adventurous and love travel is similar. Loving, easygoing. Yeah, so Alan, I would, you could either send me the link. That's another thing that you could do. You could just put the link in there and I go look at your, your document. Just make sure I can see it. Or you can take a picture of it. Or you can, uh, like if you, put, if you print it, you can take a picture of it like a snapshot, like a camera. Or you can take a screenshot of it and send it to me. Or you can actually send me the link to your actual document. View mode, view mode only. That way I can click on it and just go straight there and look at it. And if post it in this, this particular video that you're seeing that the, this uh, live stream video, this post, you're seeing live stream, post it under there. That'd be the easiest way for me to see everybody's. 
that's a great question. Thank you, Alan. So go ahead and maybe that's the way to do it. Does everybody post their link to their uh, to their document to their, to their workbook? Then I could take a look at it. Just make sure I have view view capabilities access, and then I could take a look and give you feedback. Okay. You can also just post it out too, because people might want to see something that you got. But you know, whatever you want to do, whatever's easiest for you. Okay, so back to Lynette. Uh, entrepreneur. So, what kind of entrepreneur are you? Maybe do that. I know. I think you are into healing, health. So maybe you're a healer. More specifically than just an entrepreneur. And being a healer is an entrepreneur, right? They kind of go together. So that's something to consider. Quantum healer, okay? You're a quantum healer then. I would say you're definitely fun-loving. I think it's good. Yeah, I think, yeah, quantum healer. So fun-loving, maybe adventurous, or that could be the same. Or that could not. I don't know. I like uh, fun-loving, adventurous, quantum healer. And it may be adventurous in what way? Fun, loving, and easy going. Yeah. Post what you have and I'll look. But I think that might be a pretty good one. Adventurous or adventurous traveler or tra love to be, love to have adventurous travel. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Uh, easy going, fun, loving. You can kind of put it together as one. Uh, or just... Whatever, fun loving is good. I like fun loving. And again, just, just to let y'all know, if you see somebody else's words, you can totally steal them. Totally. Uh, one, one guy had Renaissance man. He goes, Oh, I like that one. I want that one. I want to be a Renaissance man. Yeah. yeah so, anyways, just saying. You can totally steal each other's mojo vibes. Okay. Seriously. Yeah, I like quantum healer because that's what you want to associate with it. Because it's good. Because then you can. That will attract the kind of person you want. Loving. Alan, loving. Let's see. The bacteria is really I'm still working on it. Dependent, loving. Loving is cool. It's not that we don't want to use loving. I just think there would be a little bit, one a little more punchy. And, um, Yeah, just post what you have, Alan. I want to see what you have, and I'll, I'll help you with that, with what we can come up for you. I do like independent. I want to know more about... Uh, let's see. You're independent, but what kind of job? Like you said hired. What does that mean? It's really do love hiking and talking about aliens. Okay, well, maybe you should say hiking uh, or outdoors lover. I don't know. Outdoorsy. And, um, and again, these are just words that you're not going to ever, ever say, I may blah, 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 blah. You're going to insert the concept that the ideas into your online dating profile. So we're going to get into that later. But this is just something that you kind of want to project out to the world. You want to be this person that's like, like um, cook, you know, people want to know, like, you're the cook. Everybody knows that that guy's the cook, the chef. When, they come, when he, he comes over, he's cooking for everybody or whatever. Um, he's the motorcycle guy, you know. Um, talking about aliens, I don't know. I would just say... How would you say that? Quantum healing is kind of related <laughs> to aliens. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We have to think about that one. Functional nutrition geek. Yeah, that's one. A functional nutrition geek is one. A beer of motor vibrates. You can pick four. I'm not going to like say you can't have more than three. I'm just trying to kind of narrow it down. Yeah, so I like all those. I think mull them around. What I would highly suggest each of you do is ask your friends or family. 
talking to them will probably help you narrow it down too. Or help you come up with some new word. You're like, oh my God, that's a cool word. I never thought of that. I like all those, Lynette. Alan, you work at a jewel store. Okay. Is that something you're passionate about or not really? Or is it? Are you, do you consider yourself a jeweler? Or are you a, what are you? I mean, I don't know. Are you going to school? And then what are you, what are you going to school in? Maybe I can't remember. I know we talked. I can't remember now. You talked with, I think, Ian or something. Anyways, think about that. Maybe you have a job, but that's not really what you want to be. No. Maybe you're just doing this right now. Just, but what you're really passionate about and you're excited about is something else. So look at that. Um, see, what, see what else. Again, post what you have to help you. Okay. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, I want to make sure we wrap this up. You do cards, okay. Yeah, so think about something that you're really passionate about. Maybe you are. Maybe you really enjoy being with people. Okay, again, go ahead and post them. So questions about your assignments. Well, I guess we kind of did that. Again, ask them any questions or posting of your assignments. Put them in the comments of this live stream post or as just a post in general in the challenge group, but mostly it'd be nice to kind of keep them all together. So those of you listening later, uh, go ahead and, you know, post it in here. As you're, as you're listening to it, just go ahead and type in anything, any questions you have, and go ahead and put your, your homework in here as well, your assignments in here as well. Now, for those of you, I would love for those of you to let me know you're listening to this live, please, type hashtag live so I know you're listening to this live. For those listening to the replay, please type in hashtag replay so I know you're listening to the replay. It's anytime, Lynette. You can post your homework anytime. Like today's assignment, it'd be great if you could do them. It doesn't matter. I would say the, the thing you really want to do is do them before the next session. You're going to have time to catch up this weekend, but it really would be best if you went ahead and do them or keep up every day. So I would say do them by 8 o'clock tomorrow. But if you want me to give, like, give you feedback, you want to do it before that. <laughs> I don't know, by 3 o'clock central time tomorrow? I don't know. Something like that. That way I can look them over and give you feedback. And what we'll do, too, is we'll, we'll spend a little bit of time making sure everyone's got their mojo by before we move on to the next lesson. Okay. Oops. Ah. Oh, okay. I really thought I had deleted it all. Okay. okay, anyways. So the next session. So we're done with today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm excited to see what, what mojo vibes you come up with. But don't worry. Just because you have a mojo vibe, I'm like, what do I do with this thing? Well, don't worry. We're going to tell you what you need to do, how you're going to use it on day three, your mojo vibe. Now, tomorrow, we're going to be looking at how to identify your like-hearted matches quality so you can start attracting them to you. So, again, get your, you going first. And based on who you are, what kind of person do you want to be with? Like, she decided she was a sailor. She didn't have to pick somebody that was a sailor, but she did. Then she was able to know what kind of person she wanted to attract. Know what kind of words to put in her I mean, sorry, mojo, in her online dating profile. And also the pictures, right? You can see how this is going to start getting your mind going and what the kind of pictures and text you can put in your online dating profile. Okay. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed today. Again, uh, do this homework as soon as you can. Uh, I would say by 3 o'clock Central Time tomorrow. So it gives me some time before 8 o'clock to get back to you and give you feedback. We might even be interacting on there. You have some, I'll maybe ask you a question and go back and forth, give you some time to get that. So it'd be nice. My goal for you would be to basically have your mojo vibe relatively set by 8 o'clock tomorrow. You can always change it, okay? It's not set in stone or blood by any means. But at least you get a sense for who you are. You can always change it anytime, but at least to get your mind thinking about what you want to be, who you want, what you want to project out to others, your vibe that you want to send out to others, right? What is that vibe you want people to know about? Okay. That'll help you select. 
Now, if you need help again with trying to figure out what's the criteria again, just go back, review back, and in this video, you, you know, look back to them. Section, section, sections or sessions or pages, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the presentation and I'm stop screen sharing. There. I'm gonna move back over to the middle. Okay, well, thank you all for joining. And again, please remember to post so I can help you. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay, again, tomorrow you're going to look at the kind of person you want to date. Okay, again, remember hashtag live or hashtag replay so I know that you watched when you watched it. Okay, thanks so much, Lynette, Alan, and Dan. I appreciate y'all being here. And I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Okay, thanks again, everyone. Bye bye.